Um, I should tell you, there's a, a shortened parade due to uh, the fireworks, uh, obviously totally uh, understandably there. Well, I'm going to go for a, a Patsy Cusack trained runner, but it's not going to be uh, the one greyhound uh, who's heading the market, New Law Mandy. I, I was going to go for two, uh, Nelly Attack, uh, on the basis that uh, was dropping back to uh, her last winning grade. Now, she's not blessed with early, so don't expect to see her up from the outset, but I thought if she could get round in a decent enough pitch, could power through late. Six to one, big price. Now, this is interesting from Toads. Swift Keith. Drifted well wide approaching the line, perhaps now and then to the rubbish about the Newcastle hair. Yeah, he's certainly a middle runner, there's no doubt about that. Um, look, everyone's entitled to their opinion about Newcastle. The, the, the hair is... What happened there was that we saw an angle we don't normally see, uh, which is head on down the far side. It was shown that the, the, the hair was roughly the same distance in front in the Northern Puppy Derby final, as it was in the All England Cup final. The stewards at the track on the night saw no reason to intervene, and the Greyhound got beaten, and he is certainly not the closest railer in training. Hair approaching the boxers, and they're off. Three were slowly away, six broke well on the outside. Broadtown Paxo, one New Lawn Mandy trying to pace up as well, but six goes across uh, Broadtown Paxo and has a, a two length lead, but one has a pitch, but look at the pace from two, Nelly Attack. One, I'm afraid, it seems to have gone wrong. It's six in front, but two, Nelly Attack uh, coming to challenge on the inside, and two's forged to the front off the final bend. Uh, two coming away, an easy winner. Two, the winner, six second. One seemed to rally again. Un there's uh, three ended up in the middle of the track somehow. I'm not quite sure what happened there. They've stopped the hair anyway after the after the win.